here is Bath Bath So by having all these different ways of writing and different markings and aspirations, um, this created a confusing system. Sounds like Gaka, adding to the confusion. Many people say they prefer Bucol's orthography, but Bucol's attitude toward the Lakota um, orthography actually evolved over time. So he was understand. This shows that over time, Bucol used three different orthographies. In his dictionary manuscript, he proposed an improvement of the Deloria orthography. However, the orthography used in the um, Blue Buccal Dictionary um, is actually not Buccal, it's Manhart's. In the late 1960s, um, these uh, two college university students um, worked closely with elders from Pine Ridge and Rosebud. They wanted to further improve Deloria's orthography and make it better serve the needs of the 20th. Became like sort of like stress marks. <coughs> and then the blue represents the NLD orthography. So the red replaced two or three different dynamics. So that V mark, that's the wedge. The second change was in replacing the superscript with an H, or that C with an H. The diagram shows So on a keyboard, we don't have that little C, um, so it made it, okay, so the letter H is the best candidate for marking aspiration because aspiration is pronounced very similar to H, like things like aspirated K, as in khaki, the color, or as in the Lakota word kize, and I think these are the ones they skip, okay. All orthographies build critics, the markings. Um, there are three different developmental lineages. The aspiration unmarked, aspiration marked, very confusing to Lakota learners. And today we read to learn. So if we can learn to read a consistent orthography, then we can learn to speak. So it's not, anybody else's language, it's our language, it's the Lakota people's language. Can I add to that? 30. Um, the Colorado University just made modifications to the orthography. They made it easier to read um, the larger diacritics, the larger markings, and this way of writing, we can, it's on our cell phones, it's on our computers, it's on social media, it's in um, the new grocery store in Pine Ridge. Um, the only consistent orthography, which ha it is the only consistent orthography, which has a large and reliable dictionary, it is the only Lakota orthography with a significant amount of literature, such as textbooks, children's books, did for pedagogical and literacy purposes. The teachers and learners who find the NLD orthography helpful are not asking elders to adopt it or to change how they write. And we're humbly asking elders to respect our toy and elders to support our decision. In the past decade, there has been a significant increase in the number of active learners, and many of them have been increasing their proficiency. There are all of us who gather today are here because we share one thing in common. We care about the future of our language, and we have a choice to make. Okay. And grade how to read in Lakota, and because it's consistent um, and it's a syllabic language, it's um, easy to teach them how to read Lakota Christmas so they can pronounce every single Lakota word. And I mean, of course, they're not going to be able to understand what they're reading, but they can pronounce. Misaki Naji. 
And so I think it's very valuable that we have the opportunity today to speak about all these things and to help spread help to you know increase the awareness about these things in the community. And I remember that quite some time ago, maybe a year or two ago, uh, Laura had a beautiful video on her Facebook uh, about students, and they were really fluent the text written in the orthography. And that has been the experience over and over again. Because the orthography is consistent, uh, the, uh, and that makes it really easy. Um, in fact, in languages where the spelling is consistently for the word spelling is for the thing. Anyway, that was just one comment I wanted to add. I just wanted to add one more thing too is um, the this year at the Lakota language the speech contest thing any of that like to see what kind of level they were and I thought they were cheating I thought they were reading off something so I was look, really looking at the pictures and it was all coming everybody does text and that's how it, people communicate so there has to be a consistency with that that as they're learning. Orthography is Unicode compatible. And what that means is that the orthography, in fact, uh, large companies such as Google and Facebook are already beginning to implement the settings for this orthography so that keyboards are now um, automatically included. If you, if you get a new cell phone, you'll write this a few years back. Right? But because, because the orthography is Unicode compatible, Unicode is an inter international standard, and the orthography is Unicode um, fonts. And, and that was not the case with some of the previous versions, or some of the previous variations of orthography. Sorry, I'm too long. What is it? Talk about it, Jimmy, and um, we just welcome everybody to come. Of intensive Lakota language learning, uh, beginning classes, um, we're gonna last year. It was really good. It's been a learning experience for me too. This, are you coming back? Okay. So there's there's 120 slots. Did you want? To go ahead. <laughs> Well, um, if you're, uh, we look at, it, uh, look at it as being a benefit because you'll have four days if you work, you'd only have to apply for four days of leave. Um, the event uh, uh, runs free to all uh, residents. We're also encouraging a lot of teachers and a lot of um, uh, both native and non-native. You work in the school systems and you want to attend the teacher's strand, that's open for you. Um, we'll provide transportation to and from the college center. 120 slots, we have 73. Uh, individuals have signed up. We offer continuing education credits and we also offer uh, college credits for the teacher strand. So those individuals who are interested in the teaching methods and uh, uh, that strand, it's open to you. And then grammar too. So those are basically the main uh, courses that are being offered. But uh, I encourage everyone to come in and see this way it's not the way and there's a difference there because there's many different ways to learn so this is a way that you can learn but Laura's teaching when she's uh, teaching her students at Red Cloud so all right 
So I want to thank all of you for uh, coming. Um, it's on KOLC. If you have any questions or concerns, and Johnny Clifford's email is jclifford at olc.edu. And you can also contact Susan R. if you want a, the direct link in regards to um, registering for the Lakota Language Academy. We have it on our Facebook if you need access to the Lakota Language Consortium website, which is, um, do you want to announce that? I don't know it offhand, Jan. So what is your website? Okay, so I want to thank you, Jan. It's good to see you. And, uh, see you. yep, and thank everybody. The only thing that we have to keep going, that we want to keep going, that that's our dream to keep going. And a lot of people have done a lot of hard work over the years and a lot of dedication to preserving the language and to, and to uh, keeping what we have now going. So, And uh, Don for giving this time and for Jan for his time. And I want to say thank you.